A plaque buildup in your arteries is known as atherosclerosis. And what this is, is a narrowing of the artery that can have some really nasty consequences like heart attack, stroke, or even aneurysm. So in this video, because so many of you are suffering with a plaque buildup in your arteries, I'm gonna show you how to build a meal step-by-step -step that will combat this plaque buildup and improve your cardiovascular system. But before we get started, I'm Dr. Nick Zorowski, and did you know that I have a private health community over on Locals? It's called Health Club. And what we discuss in there is all the ways that you can dramatically improve your health naturally. We're having a challenge going on over there right now on how to do a three-day water fast. So a big group of us are doing a three-day water fast and improving our health every single day. I'd love for you to be a part of it. Go ahead and click on the link in the description below and join my community so that you can improve your health naturally today. So let's talk about how to build this meal so that you can improve your cardiovascular health. The first thing that we wanna have on our plate is going to be fatty fish. Now there's a reason for this. This fatty fish is loaded with omega-3s. Now the omega-3 rich fish that we specifically wanna focus on is going to be salmon, mackerel, anchovies, sardines, and herring. And if you ever forget those, just think smash fish. And these omega-3 rich fish are going to do a couple really good things for your arterial system in the way of reducing plaque. First of all, it's going to help reduce inflammation. It's going to help lower your triglycerides and your cholesterol and also even prevent that plaque formation. Now, if you want to take this a step further, when we put our protein into the meal here, is you can put garlic on your fish. And this is really unique because garlic has something called allicin in it. And this allicin has been shown to actually improve your cardiovascular system in the way of decreasing blood pressure, cholesterol, and arterial plaque. So this is where we're going to start our meal with the protein, and that's with good healthy fatty fish with some garlic. Now let's move on to our leafy greens. Now this is really important because the leafy greens has something called nitric acid in it. This nitric acid is going to help dilate the blood vessels and it's been shown to decrease blood pressure. It's also been shown to improve blood flow. And also these leafy greens are loaded with antioxidants and fiber, okay? So this is gonna be our base for a good healthy salad. Now what could we put on it that would actually help decrease our plaque buildup in our arteries and prevent it? Well, we could first start with olive oil. Now, olive oil is very unique because it has something called polyphenols. And this polyphenols is gonna help decrease inflammation in the arteries. And also it's been shown to help reduce oxidative damage. And one of the reasons you get a plaque buildup is because of oxidative damage and stress in the arterial system. So the olive oil helps combat that. Now, what else could we put with that olive oil? Well, we could put our vinegar specifically apple cider vinegar. Now the apple cider vinegar is very unique because what apple cider vinegar has been shown to do is lower your blood sugar and also lower your A1C score, which directly correlates with a reduction of plaque in your arteries. So therefore, we have a nice dressing on top of the leafy greens, all putting us in the right direction. Now, if we could take this a step further and we could say, hey, let's make this salad taste a little bit better. Let's put a few other things on it. Now, if this is you and you like this sort of thing, you could put berries on your salad. And these berries are really good because they have flavonoids and antioxidants, which are really good at preventing plaque. And if you don't want them on your salad, just eat them off to the side. Now, another thing you could put on your salad is nuts, specifically flaxseed, almonds, or walnuts. These have really good healthy fats in them and also are rich in antioxidants and fiber, which is all good for preventing plaque. So this is how you could build yourself a really healthy salad. Now, what would you drink if you were having this meal of a good healthy protein and some leafy greens? What you would do is you would actually have some green tea. Green tea is unique in the way that it's loaded with something called catechins. And this catechins is is actually really good at helping you prevent plaque buildup. And the other thing you could do is you could squeeze a lemon into the green tea because citrus fruits have been shown to be loaded with vitamin C and also lots of really good healthy flavonoids, which is all going to add to this good healthy meal that's preventing plaque buildup. Now off to the side, what I would recommend is having an avocado. You could cut it in half, take out the seed, and then you could go and sprinkle some good healthy pink salt on it. And what this is going to do is give you lots of good minerals all well, giving you lots of good healthy fats, which is good at preventing plaque buildup as well. So 
As we look at this issue of narrowed arteries and plaque buildup leading to cardiovascular events which so many people suffer from, these are some of the core building blocks that you can utilize in order to build a healthy meal. Whether you have this all together or you just work on incorporating more of these types of foods into your everyday diet, you are going to have a stronger cardiovascular system and less plaque buildup, ultimately preventing a lot of these very serious issues like stroke, heart attack, and aneurysms that so many people suffer from. I'm Dr. Nick Zorowski. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Share this video with a friend who needs it. I guarantee you have one because so many people are suffering with these issues today. And it was a pleasure seeing you in this video. I look forward to seeing you in this video next.